Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, worship you. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. This is God's own ministry with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. This is the second account for Evangelist Sarah. If you are seeing me for the first time, please go ahead and subscribe. Join us. You can also join us on our other channel. Our first channel is Evangelist Sarah. We will pray every day as you join us. God will bless you abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to know that I'm grateful for your coming back for listening to the word of God, for trying to be more and more better the way you were yesterday. Hallelujah. May the Lord continue to strengthen you. Please help me to like this word. Help me to subscribe. Help me to tell somebody to tell another person about this, this gospel. You might be saving somebody's life. And God will bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today, the Lord wants me to share with us quickly something that many Christians many of us who are christians many that we argue we argue about these things and the devil is making many christians to argue over it hallelujah many believers don't even understand when witches is operating in, in their life they don't understand they don't believe or, or believe of this witchcraft attack hallelujah many believers don't even know there is an often a witch behind their disappointment and constant attacks in life don't be ignorant child of god don't be ignorant don't take this thing as joke hallelujah don't take this thing as joke we should not be ignorant of the devices of the devil hallelujah least the enemy will take advantage of us many believers are ignorant about spiritual warfare when you talk about spiritual warfare, they don't want to hear about it because they are interested in entertainment. They just want to hear what their ear is itching to hear. And you ask yourself, how much have you been hearing what you want to hear? But yet there is no changes. You need to go into warfare. Hallelujah. That is why the devil is making even many believers to only believe the things that they want to hear. Not the things that God want them to know. Not the things that God want them to know. Jesus said in his word, he said, Whatever seed that is not planted by my father should be uprooted. In other words, he knows that seed will be uprooted. So when these things, you become an ignorant of it that, oh, the witches does not exist, the enemy does not exist. It's as if you are making the word of God a liar. Even the Bible says, says suffer not a wish to live. When you find yourself in disappointment every time, promise and faith every time the same circle repeating itself every time you see doing one thing over and over again you have to know that there are powers that are behind that situation it is no longer an ordinary that is when that is why you have to take warfare seriously hallelujah <clears throat> hallelujah many believer be believers are ignorant about spiritual welfare if you knew a witch was behind your loss of that job if you know that a witch was behind the loss of your spouse, your business, your finances, etc., you will spend more time engaging in warfare prayer against demons assigned to disrupt your livelihood rather than spending time fighting with your spouse, jealous co worker, troubled children, jealous neighbor, people who have disappointed you, lied on you, and all of that. You understand when you spend more time when you understand that something there is a witch behind that loss of job there are powers behind that loss of trouble that trouble that is happening in your life you will spend more time in praying you see we, we you see us praying in this place that is why i said come to the other place where we pray when we have our requirements here we will also be praying here we don't have the requirements here yet we don't have 1,000 subscribers yet. When we get to that bridge, we will start to pray here as well. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? When you have this knowledge that, oh, what is happening in my family is not ordinary. What is going on is not, is not ordinary. You will know that there is a witch that is behind. And the Bible says, suffer not a witch 
to live. Please don't be an ignorant of these things. The enemy don't want many Christians to know that there are power that are in charge of this, their disappointment. Why you lose your home suddenly? Why your money disappears suddenly? Why? Because there is a power that is behind it all. There is something that is fighting you that don't want you to come out on top. These are witches are wizards. One thing you should know, they gather every night. When we tell ourselves, Christians, the truth, people get angry. People don't want to listen. Hallelujah. The truth is that, you see, every night there is always a meeting. You accept it, you know, accept it. That they say they gather every night. Just as people go to work every day. Even during like during holidays, you see December holidays, even on the days of celebration, maybe like Christmas, New Year Eve and all of that, there are still people on duty in the hospital, in the police stations. They are still working. Everyone is not at home. Job must still happen that very day. People will still be on duty in one place or the other. That is how it is in the spiritual realm. Every blessed day, this which they gather. When they gather, what do they gather to do? They don't gather. They don't gather for you for them to say, let's come and bless you. They are not gathering to come and tell you, oh, we need to come and give you something important. No, they are gathering to cause evil. And when we say, let's pray warfare, many people are like, oh, it's not what, what is it about warfare. Let's just be praying about prosperity. No. You have to handle the issue from the root. I want you to know from today that whatever disappointment that you are facing, there are power that are behind it. But God said, don't suffer. Suffer not a witch to live. They must die. The first step is for you to believe that the power behind the problem is no more than God. That God can bring them down. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Now I want you to follow me to the book of 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11. Here what the Bible says, At least Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. The first step that the enemy will use is to tell you that witches does not exist. Is to tell you that no, power does not exist. But the Bible made it clear. The Bible made it clear, say principalities and power in high places, say pull them down, pulling it down using the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Pulling the powers that are fighting your destiny down. This is why you need to believe in warfare. Why the devil don't want you to believe in warfare? Because they don't want you to be free. But I pray for you, child of God, as you engage in prayer with us, as you engage in the word of God, you will be delivered. And every wish that is after your destiny, the earth will open and swallow them up in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to join us on the other side where we pray, Evangelist Sarah. When you type it, the channel will show. You will see it. You will join us. And God will bless you as you do that. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.